Clogged bathrooms with no soap and no paper towels. It doesn't sound like a pleasant experience, but those are the concerns we received from some staff and parents of students with Duval County Public Schools describing the conditions inside the student bathrooms in at least one high school. On your side, Robert Bradfield is here now with their principal's response as we learned that those bathrooms, Robert, were actually inspected today. Yeah, pretty eye opening here, and we can tell you that the health department paid that school a visit after we know at least one parent made a complaint. A DCPS employee reached out to us about the conditions of the bathrooms, looking for answers and solutions, which he says he's been given none. First Coast News was given these pictures showing conditions inside the student bathrooms at Rebald High School. An employee telling us the clogged toilets and lack of soap and paper towels are nothing new. I'm tired of fighting for my students and I'm tired of listening them cry for help and ask for help and be turned down and turned away. The employee did not want to be identified, but says school staff have personally paid for and supplied their students with toilet paper and soap because the bathrooms don't have any. It makes me sick to go to work every day. Parents say they are also frustrated, having raised concerns with the school. I believe that um, putting it out there gets results. We need results not next week, right now. Virginia Robinson Witzke's daughter is a senior at Revolt and is concerned the unsanitary conditions could lead to the spread of diseases. No kid should be getting hepatitis from the school because we have lack of care. Yes, being sanitary is very important. The Florida Department of Health in Duval County visited the school Thursday and found deficiencies. Many student bathrooms did not have soap. We're told DCPS will meet with a janitorial crew to make improvements. Rebalt's principal tells us we strive to maintain clean restrooms and restroom supplies by having our custodial staff inspect the restrooms continuously throughout the day, in addition to cleaning and sanitizing at the beginning and end of each day. But this DCPS employee says he rarely sees the janitors and hopes the district fixes what he calls major gaps in cleanliness. Parents tell me that they're just disgusted with it, that they can't trust that their kids are not going to come home with some bacteria. The health department inspects all DCPS bathrooms once a year, but if there are complaints, the health department will revisit the school, and I'm told that was the case with this incident. A health department spokesperson told me there have not been any HEPA cases that have resulted from students using the bathrooms at Revolt. Robert Bradfield, First Coast News, on your side. And we are on your side tonight with ways to reduce your risk of catching the hepatitis A virus. Always wash your hands thoroughly after using the restroom. Avoid unclean food and water and avoid raw or undercooked meat and fish. And if you have a problem you like our On Your Side team to look into, you can email us on your side at firstcoastnews.com.